Hey, what's up everybody, it's Rutech. Today, we'll be talking about NVIDIA's updated image scaling feature, what it does, how it works, and at the end of the video, I'll show you guys what it looks like when compared to normal rendering. Now, before I tell you all about this image scaling technology, I first wanna tell you about Digital Chill Mart. Digitalchillmart.com is the best place to get cheap Windows 10 and 11 license keys. If you're building a PC or have built one, but you're still running an unactivated version of Windows, Digital Chill Mart has you covered. Simply go to the front page of their website, scroll down a bit, and you'll find Windows 10 and 11 for great prices. And the prices get better. I have a coupon code for you guys to use. Type in Rutech right here, and it'll be instantly applied. Link for digitalchillmart.com will be in my description. So for starters, what is this image scaling? Well, to put it simply, it's a feature that comes with all NVIDIA graphics cards that pretty much uses an algorithm to upscale your resolution. Now, why would you be interested in doing something like this? Well, let's say you're like me and you have a 1440p monitor. Lately, I've been playing Battlefield 2042, which is kind of a really demanding game. Now, I'd love to play this game at 1440p, but I can't because the performance draw is too much for me to get the frame rate that I want, even with DLSS turned on. Fortunately, I can use NVIDIA's image scaling. I'll instead run the game at a lower resolution of 2176 by 1224, or I guess you could call it 1224p, and NVIDIA's image scaling algorithm will upscale it. Now, it won't look as good as running at 1440p, but it won't look nearly as bad as running it at an actual resolution of 2176 by 1224, as it uses a special upscaling algorithm to bring it up to 1440p. Here's what NVIDIA has to say about this feature and its latest update. With the new November 2020 GeForce Game Ready driver, we have improved the scaling and sharpening algorithm to now use a six tap filter with four directional scaling and adaptive sharpening filters to boost performance. And we have also added an in game sharpness slider accessible via GeForce Experience so you can do real time customizations to sharpness. So, yeah, on top of the upscaling is a little bit of sharpening which you can fine tune between zero and 100%. And it actually works really well and seriously makes you feel like you're playing at your monitor's native resolution once you find the desired sharpness slider. Level. I personally find 30 to be the optimal level of sharpness. Now, if that explanation was not good enough for you, here's a little graphic showing how it works in comparison to the DLSS technology. So yeah, kind of like DLSS's little brother. Now, it of course will never be as good as DLSS, as DLSS requires a special hardware built into the GPU that only comes with 20 and 30 series cards, and it's ran by AI. What's really cool is you can actually use DLSS and image scaling together to get a massive performance boost, but I'll take a look at that in a later video. So now that you know what image scaling is, let's see some comparisons. How does image scaling hold up to 100% rendering? Let's take a look. So on the left side, we have true 900p, and on the right side is 900p being upscaled to 1080p using image scaling. And right off the bat, we can see some really big differences between these two captures. With image scaling turned on, a lot more clarity is restored to the shield. Now let's take a look at the open world of Assassin's Creed. Same exact thing, left side 900p, right side 900p upscaled. You can see a lot more detail in the ground. Moving on, now we're gonna look at a tiny patch of grass. And this is where you really start to see the differences. With image scaling turned off, you can't really see how sharp those blades of grass are, but with it turned on, all of that clarity is restored. You can definitely see that grass a lot clearer. How about something in the distance, like a tree? Something to make the upscaling algorithm struggle a little bit. Well, in my opinion, it seems like the algorithm actually didn't struggle all that much. The tree seems blurry on the left and not blurry on the right. And how about a large patch of grass. How does image scaling deal with a ton of detail in one area? Well, this is a huge difference. Zooming in allows us to see that at the top where image scaling is turned off, it really looks like it's blurred out. And there's a huge difference in clarity when we look at the bottom with image scaling turned on. Last but not least, I wanna look at a tree in the far, far distance. And wow, is this not a huge difference. With image scaling turned on, you can actually see the gaps between the branches. The fact that it can regenerate that level of detail shows how far this image scaling technology has come. And hey, what's the performance impact of using image scaling? two frames per second, so a negligible amount. Now let's compare 900p being upscaled to 1080p to true 1080p. This is where we'll see how good image scaling really is when compared to the resolution it's trying to upscale to. So our first comparison is gonna be the textures on this tree. With true 1080p, you can see the textures in their full fidelity, whereas the 900p with image scaling turned on can't quite reach the same level of sharpness, at least when it comes to textures. Well, how about another tree in the distance? Image scaling actually does a pretty good job here. 
here. Once again, not nearly as good as true 1080p, but if I'm being honest, it does a really good job trying to restore the edges of those branches. As for the grass directly below though, it's an opposite story. So the pattern I'm starting to recognize here is image scaling is not good, at upscaling a lot of detailed textures in a small area. And we'll see another example of this right here with this bridge. It does a pretty decent job at restoring the edges of these objects, but when it comes to the textures, they look a little bit blurred out. Same thing up here, edges not too shabby, but the textures a little bit blurry. So the question is, is it worth the increase in performance? 10 frames per second to be exact with this particular game. Well, here's my opinion. Image scaling is really awesome. Although the technology can only take you so far and can't exactly upscale your game to the point where it actually looks like your native resolution, it gets pretty darn close. It seems that it doesn't really struggle with the edges of objects, only the texture clarity. Now, of course, there are exceptions to this, such as blades of grass, but regardless, the point I'm trying to make here is that with image scaling, you can get an incredible performance boost for a pretty small cost that you'll have a tough time even noticing, especially if you're running around a lot. So if you're not getting the frame rate that you really desire, you should probably try this technology out. It's super beneficial, and it frankly has helped me out a lot with Battlefield 2042, which EA and DICE decided just not to optimize for PCs. Anyway, that'll wrap up this quick video. If you enjoyed, drop a like. Have any comments or questions, drop a comment below. And if you enjoy the content that you're seeing, drop a sub. Thanks for watching. Peace out.